Hi, I'm coming to you now to help you do one thing, build your own Hackintosh. I decided to make a new Hackintosh tutorial to make it faster and easier for those who know a little bit more about computers. So we'll try to get it all accomplished in under six minutes. Here we go. First thing you need, a retail copy of Mac OS X. The second thing you'll need is a bootloader. I'm specifically using the grub-dfe, that's grub-dfe.iso file. Do a Google search for it, find it, burn it to a, a CD, and then you can boot. Next thing you're going to need is compatible hardware. The two biggest things you need to look out for, your motherboard and then your video card. Next, take the bootloader CD that you have, open your DVD tray, pop it in there, shut it, and reboot your computer. Now, go ahead and boot up your computer and wait for the bootloader to load. This may take a while. Now that the bootloader is finished loading, go ahead and swap the bootloader for the Leopard Retail DVD. Bootloader is out. The Leopard DVD is in. Go ahead and close the tray. Now, with the Retail Leopard DVD in the tray, go ahead and hit Escape. It should show FE for the boot device code. Go ahead and hit enter. Hit enter again to start from CD-ROM. Now wait for it to load. You'll see this Apple logo in the gray screen while it's loading. Be patient, it may take a while. If yours doesn't load up as mine has and it comes up with some sort of error icon, then what you'll have to do is go back through there and look and see what the error was. I'll show you how to debug that later. Go ahead and choose English as your main language, or whatever language you prefer. Click the arrow at the bottom. This will look just like a normal installation of Mac OS X on a real Mac. The one catch here is you want to go up to Utilities, Disk Utility. Now go to the disk that you want to install Mac OS X on. Click the, the main disk itself. You'll go to Partition. In general, you'll make one partition. You can make multiple partitions, but do not attempt to install Windows and Mac OS X on the same hard drive. That does cause some difficulty. Make it one partition. Make it a Mac OS Extended Journaled. Go to Options and make sure it's a GUID partition table. It's very important. Since mine's already partitioned, I won't actually do that. Once you do that, it should only take about 10 seconds. Close Disk Utility. You'll be back here. Click Continue. Agree. Now you should see the list of available hard drives to install to. Click Mac Attack or whatever drive you have. I called mine Mac Attack. Go to Options. Now you don't want to upgrade ever. Go to Erase and Install. This is the best way to do it. If you have a previous installation and you're reinstalling to get a better install, the one that doesn't have problems, click Erase and Install. Format the disk as Mac OS Extended Journaled and then click OK. Then you would click Continue go ahead and click install. Wait for it to load. It may take a while. After it's finished installing, it may show you a big exclamation point. It'll be yellow and it'll say that there's a problem. Don't worry about it. Simply reboot your machine. You'll probably have to force reboot your machine no matter what happens. Just hit the reset button or power off. Now that Mac OS X is finished installing, go ahead and power your computer back on. Or if it's already been reset, go ahead and open up your tray. Pull out the Leopard disk and put in the same boot disk we just used previously. You're swapping them back out again. Once the boot disk has loaded for the second time, go ahead and hit Escape again and type 80. 80 should show you your main hard drive, your first hard drive. If that's what you installed Mac OS X to, it'll show up in 80. If you install on a different hard drive, keep increasing from 80, 81, 82, 83. Mine is on 82. Now, at the boot prompt, type dash V. This is helpful because it shows you as it's booting up what it's doing. If it stalls for any reason, you get to see why. Go ahead and hit enter. This may take a while. Wait for it to load. Mac OS X has loaded for the first time. If you have a unique keyboard like I do, you'll have to go ahead and identify it by pressing two keys. Go ahead and do that now. You may not have to do this. Click continue. Choose your country. Choose your language. At this point, you can choose to migrate files from an existing Mac OS X installation. I don't recommend doing this. It can cause problems. Continue. I recommend skipping all of this stuff, and the easy way to do that is to hit Command-Q. It'll take you directly to user account creation. Create any account you like. 
name it whatever you'd like, and put in any password that you like. Continue. Choose your time zone. Continue. Continue on through and hit done. Mac OS X should load up for the first time in a few seconds. I have Mac OS X loaded for the first time on this machine on this installation. If it asks if you want to use anything as a backup, choose cancel. At this point you'll notice two problems. Number one, your graphics aren't set properly. And number two, your sound may or may not work. Those are two things that you'll have to fix individually and separately from this video. Congratulations, you have a functioning Hackintosh and I hope you can get it working to 100%.